In this section, we'll discuss using model managers to help keep your complex data operations dry and manageable. We'll discuss model managers in this video and in the next video extend our knowledge so that we can use managers to create new objects. And finally, look at custom manage.py commands. Let's start out with an overview of managers. Every model has a manager. By default, it's called objects. In previous videos, we've looked up songs using the default manager. We use syntax such as song.objects, dot filter. I'm sure you've seen that numerous times and didn't really give it a second thought. If you have some special behavior you'd like to add, you can create your own manager and use it instead of the default one. You don't even have to call it objects, though I would stick with that name unless you have good reason to use something else. You can have multiple model managers, but I'd start out small and get more complex over time. Having heavily customized or multiple model managers can impact how the Django admin area works. Back in section 4, we added a manager to our song and album models. We did this so that we could have a by year filter to show albums and songs for a certain year. When I'm creating reports, I frequently need to do common things again and again. For example, show data for the current month, the last year, and a rolling seven day period. These are great examples of methods to add to my manager. As a matter of fact, because this rolling seven method for song manager requires no parameters, it can be used from within a template. We would simply call song.objects.rolling7 to get the songs added in the last seven days. You can do a lot with a manager. Essentially, you can override any of the standard model behavior and add your own. However, there are things you can't or shouldn't do. For example, something that isn't a default capability is to filter database records for a particular user. Of course, you could create a method that requests a user ID as a parameter but there's no way for the model to have access to the request parameter to automatically know which user the request is for. 